Well, the meeting was very good. We're very pleased. Uh, in fairness, I did find him a compassionate man. He listened to, uh, there were six of us there. He gave each and every one of us accurate time to explain our cases. He said he would like to do that, that he could put a face to the report, the stories that's in the report. And he told us that if any of us wanted to stop at any time and take a break or anything, that that was okay and that he'd give more time. And um, he, uh, I, I, you know, he was saying, were we happy with the report? And, that, and I said, it was a few things that I was disappointed in, that there was nothing being said about the physical abuse. And he said, well, no, that that was misrepresented, that there was uh, physical abuse mentioned in the report. So I think that's important. And I think we put across to him, we thought it was so unfair that we were put down by the media, some of the media, as prostitutes or maybe the church had said it, that they put us in because we were prostitutes or we were stealing things. I mean, I was 12 years of age when I went to a Magdalene laundry. I mean, surely to God, I wasn't a prostitute at 12 years of age and I didn't steal anything. Uh, there, I was put there because I was abused in the home and they were supposed to be sending me for an education, but I never got that education. Another thing that disappointed me about the report was that hasn't come out in the domain yet is that uh, they didn't make a profit. That is untrue, because we set up till 9 o'clock at night, after our day's work in the laundry, doing rosary beads, when they had orders for shops. And we'd done uh, iron sweaters that went all over the world. There was loads of orders from America. So they made plenty of prop profit.